Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today you will learn how to scan the long head of biceps tendon on ultrasound. On the left side we have a diagram showing the probe placement. This white box is the ultrasound probe and this red dot is the indicator or the orientation marker. The patient is seated and their hand is placed on the ipsilateral knee which means if we scan the left shoulder then the left hand will be placed on the left knee with the palm directed upwards then the ultrasound probe is placed in transverse orientation in this manner above the axilla this is the image formed when we place the probe in this manner. Adjust the probe until you find the bicipital groove on the humerus. This hyperechoic bone is the humerus and this defect, this groove is the bicipital groove. Try to keep this groove in the center of the image. The long head of biceps tendon is located inside this groove. It appears as a smooth, rounded, hyperechoic structure. Try to keep the probe perpendicular to this tendon for best visualization. In this image, we can see the probe placement. It is placed in transverse plane over the anterior shoulder. In the image above the biceps tendon, this is the deltoid muscle. It will be hypoechoic as compared to the biceps tendon. In transverse plane, the indicator is directed towards the patient's right side. So this is the right side of the patient. This indicator will display at the top left of the image. This part of the image is towards the patient's right side, the medial side. And the lateral side is towards the patient's left. The interior portion is at the top of the image. That is why we see the skin and subcutaneous tissue at the top of the image because these structures are anterior to the muscles and the tendons. And down here, this is the posterior part of the image. The humerus is seen posterior to all the structures, followed by acoustic shadowing due to the high density of the bone. Medial to the biceps tendon, this slanting hyperechoic bone is the lesser tuberosity and you can also see part of the subscapularis tendon it is not in full focus but it is still visible the pectoralis major muscle is also present in this image it corresponds to this area in the proposition image Rotate the probe 90 degrees clockwise from the previous position to scan in longitudinal view. In the longitudinal view, the indicator is directed towards the patient's head. This plane helps us in seeing the length of the biceps tendon from its entry into the sulcus to the myotendinous region. You can apply pressure to the lower part of the probe to help visualize the tendon better. Applying the pressure will keep the probe approximately perpendicular to the tendon. It will remove the anisotropy or defect due to which some hypoechoic areas are seen inside the tendon and these areas may resemble tears leading to an inaccurate diagnosis. So you can apply pressure and angle the probe to keep it perpendicular to the tendon and you will get the best visualization. 
The tendon appears hyperechoic as compared to the muscle, the deltoid muscle. In the longitudinal view, the left side of the image is towards the patient's head. It is the superior part and the right side in the image is towards the patient's feet. It is the inferior aspect. The anterior and posterior areas are same as in the transverse plane. In this image you can see the probe position more clearly. It is placed in a longitudinal orientation over the anterior shoulder. The indicator is towards the patient's head. So first you locate the bicipital groove and the biceps tendon in the transverse plane and then you can rotate the probe 90 degrees clockwise to scan in the longitudinal plane. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.